The Max Planck Institute for Polymer Research is located on the campus of the University of Mainz. It is a worldwide recognized center of polymer science covering the whole range of synthesis, characterization and theoretical understanding of these important materials including their function in optoelectronics and similar fields. From its very beginning, more than 25 years ago, magnetic resonance has been one of the prominent techniques for elucidating structure and dynamics of polymers. The magnetic resonance group, headed by Professor Hans Wolfgang Spies, has prospered in the interdisciplinary environment of physicists and chemists. Last but not least, the group enjoys the support of highly skilled technical staff. Here, we see Christian Bauer entering the institute. He is specialized in EPR spectroscopy and was a key player in getting the first Pulse Deer experiment to work. The heart of the EPR spectrometer is the EPR probe head with the appropriate resonator. Let us have a closer look at the Brooker Stable resonator that we use today and its interior. The hardware has significantly been improved since we recorded our first year spectra. This makes such experiments almost routine today despite requiring cryogenic temperature. What is DIR? DIR stands for double electron-electron resonance, a method that measures dipole-dipole interactions between electron spins. From this we can determine distances in the range of 1.5 to 8 nanometers. This range is particularly important for elucidating the size and shape of nanometer-sized objects, be they synthetic supermolecular systems or biomacromolecules such as proteins or nucleic acids. In order to record DIA spectra free of artifacts, the dead time that inevitably follows pulse excitation has to be overcome. We solve this problem by simply adding a form refocusing pulse that creates echoes which occur after the dead time has elapsed. This approach is well established in NMR and is based on the ingenious work of Erwin Hahn back in the 1950s. Therefore, we called our paper Dead Time Free Measurement of Dipole-Dipole Interactions Between Electron Spins. Today, dead time free deer is widely used in particular in biophysics. As a recent example of the Max Planck Institute's EPR group, which is headed by Dr. Darius Hinderberger, let us take a look at the functional structure of human serum albumin in solution. Human serum albumin, or HSA, is a versatile transport protein for various endogenous compounds and drugs in human blood. It is the major transport protein for fatty acids in the circulatory system. Although extensive crystallographic data on the HSA fatty acid binding exist, DIA can probe the functional structure of HSA in solution. Using spin-labeled stearic acids, the protein structure can be accessed from the ligand's point of view. The EPR distance measurements between the spin-labeled fatty acids reveal that the protein's functional solution structure exhibits a much more symmetric distribution of entry points to the transport sites than expected from its crystal structure. This symmetric distribution is a result of conformational flexibility at the surface of the protein. It provides a straightforward explanation for the transport function of the protein as it facilitates fast uptake and release of multiple fatty acids. Several publications in high rank journals have resulted from this study.